Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate this Valak the Nun makeup look pretty much just using things that you've probably got lying around in your makeup kit at home. Um, so it's really really actually easy look to create. I'll go through it step by step and hopefully by the end of it you will look just as scary as I do. So I'm ready to start off this nun makeup look. I have tried as much as possible to get all of my hair out of my face just to make it as easy as possible. The first step is to lay down a nice white base for this Valak from the nun look and I've just got this white cream makeup here. You could use something similar or the same thing or you could use like if you've got a really pale like powder or if you you know bought a super light or like white foundation that would also do the trick so just going in with my sponge now just all over my face i will have to apply probably two layers of this just to get full coverage <laughs> Don't worry if it does go into your hairline because as you would have seen by the thumbnail and the intro, obviously I'm going to be wearing a full habit. So this bit of my hair is going to be covered up anyway. You don't need to go all the way into your eyes, just leave like a little circle round your eye as so. I really would recommend applying this with a sponge because you get that stippled effect. Obviously you're not going for a glamorous look here so it doesn't need to be all even and smooth. If anything probably the more stippled the better. And there you have the white base applied. Now you may need to leave your base to dry just for a couple of minutes or alternatively you could use a bit of setting spray as well just to hold the base in place. But the next step in creating this nun look is to do my eyes and for that I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow and I'm just going to be filling in with this whole gap here going over my eyebrows. You could of course use whatever black eyeshadow you've got but I'm just using my rides here from the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson Conspiracy Palette and I'm just taking this kind of good sized fluffy brush just so that I can get good coverage. And what's good about this look as well is you don't need to worry about if you get any fallout from this black eyeshadow onto the white because as you'll know Valak, you know, has that very kind of mottled skin texture and tone. So if anything, a little bit of fallout is probably just going to add to the look anyway. So you just want to get your whole brow covered all over your eyelid and obviously, of course, under your eye. You're just wanting to create those hollowed out eyes. Again, you don't need to be really precise with the edges. It's a monster, it's quite uneven. And then the next bit for the eyes, just to go back in with your little sponge, and just to stipple the edges of the eye so you do get a bit of a greyer outer part. It just helps the eye itself to just look a bit more sunken than just having a big black circle on your face. So we'll end up with that kind of effect, that kind of grey scale effect there and the last bit just for the eye is I'm going to be taking a black eyeliner pencil and then just going all in my waterline just so there's not like a you know an obvious blank space in my eye and then of course I'm going to get exactly the same done on my other eye so just going in exactly the same like I did for my first eye. Again, you're not doing a glamorous look, so don't worry if they're not completely symmetrical or completely even, because again, if anything, it's just gonna add to the look. Back in with the sponge, just to stipple the edges of this eye. 
So there is both eyes all done. And next I'm going to be tackling the nose. So think of like nose contouring, but with black eyeshadow. Um, and also you need to create really, really like flared nostrils. So again, I'm just going to use exactly the same black eyeshadow to do that. Have gone for like a flatter brush this time, just to get a bit more precision with the nose. So you want to start by just, just like tracing your shape out. And the purpose of this is to make the nose look kind of really elongated and just a bit scary, really. So this is why I said think nose contour, but with black eyeshadow. So you're bringing this all the way down. And then to kind of elongate your nostrils, if you just do the black eyeshadow right on the edges of your nostrils, it will make them appear, obviously, bigger and more flared than they naturally are. So like so for the nostrils and then for the nose, sort of contour part, just go back with your original brush and then just soften that line and kind of blend it out a bit just so you don't have such a harsh line so you'll see you've got this more blended effect than just this black line here and just bring that up into the eye shading as well so it's just there to change the shape of your nose and just make it appear kind of longer and thinner so there is that part done next up we're going to be carving out those cheekbones so i'm going to be using this angled brush here and again just the same black eyeshadow so first of all just get a small amount on your brush you don't want to go in with too much too soon and then kind of suck your face in like and then obviously stipple on the eyeshadow. This part definitely is a less is more type scenario. Just bring that up in to your hairline as well. It's just about creating a bit more of like a hollowed out effect. And then just taking the same brush and that same stippling effect if you just go all along your hairline at the top as well a bit like if you were doing your bronzer but just with a black eyeshadow instead once you're happy with like this part of your face shading the next step to do is to do the mouth so valak's mouth is far more extended than probably your normal mouth so I always opt to use a black eyeliner for this just to go around the obviously shape of my natural lips and mouth but just to extend it out slightly so it just is a bit more fitting to the look and just a little bit creepier. You could of course also use like a black lipstick for this but I don't have one and I prefer the precision with the pencil anyway. So you don't want to bring it out too far because they're not going for like a clown look here. You kind of got a rough, fairly uneven shape and then just literally pencil in your lips. And once your lips are all penciled over, just take the same sponge again and just apply that same stippling effect like we did for the eyes and lastly just makeup wise you may notice or remember that valak has got sort of all these like cracks and everything in its face so for that i'm going to be taking black cream makeup again you could really use anything for this black eyeshadow eyeliner liquid liner whatever you had lying around in your makeup kit to do this part. And I'm going back with that same flat brush that I used to sort of contour out the nose. And then I've just got a bit on the tip of my brush so that I can draw out some cracks in the face. <laughs> So 
Again, you can sort of place these anywhere that you want. Just have a few all over just to complete the makeup look. It's probably one of my favourite Halloween looks to do. I think it's just really fun. And also it's like never exactly the same each time, which I think just adds to it. So that is the makeup part of this Nun makeup completed. All that's left to do is just to change into my Nun's costume here. I picked this one up fairly cheaply on Amazon. It may have been about 10 or 15 pounds or so. If I can find a link to it, I will pop it in the description. Otherwise, I think if you just search Nun costume, then you'll be able to find one on there. And there, of course, is the completed look. What I'll do is just so you get a full feel for the look, I'll just show my entire completed outfit for you. So here is my entire outfit in all of its glory. As you can see, little belt, we've got the full length habit and everything there. So hope you liked it. So I really hoped that you, I suppose, somewhat enjoyed this makeup look and how to recreate Valak from the Nun as a really easy Halloween look, really just using things that most people probably have just lying around in their makeup kits. As I said, if I do remember what the specific costume was, I will link it in the description, but it's definitely from Amazon. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a big thumbs up leave me a comment and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I'll see you again in my next video.